It isn't. You'll have to sack me, Mrs. Walker. This time, even though I've given the best years of my life, you'll just have to harden your heart and sling me on the scrap heap. You only say that because you know I won't. You'll find a way. Look, I may treat you like an ordinary employee sometimes. Often. Well, most of the time. You don't actually have to agree with me, you know. It's emotional blackmail. Oh, be quiet, Jane. Who would I get to take your place? Now, what is it this time? And be quick. I've got a doctor's appointment to enjoy. They're laughing at me. The gang what's meant to be put in Barney Colt's roof on. Well, surely you can take a joke. And then they say, well, things about you. Like what? Oh, come on, come on. We are women of the world. They say... She's too busy being, well, you know what, it by her architect to care about her. <laughs> Let's play football. <laughs> then they laugh. Ah, oh, it's nice to know they've got a sense of humour, which they're going to need in ten minutes' time. <laughs> right, what the hell's going on here? Football, you want to play? <laughs> Kick that thing with me here, young man, and you'll find yourself in the foundations of a very large building. You, you and go, come here. <laughs> You're the foreman. How do you know that? Because even when skiving, you've given yourself the easiest job. <laughs> Give me a knife, Arthur. You can't kill him for skiving, Mrs. <laughs> so new fashioned. <laughs> Empty bladder, stop play. <laughs> that roof is crying out to be put on. I cut. <laughs> would you make a gesture like that in front of your mother? Um, or more to the point, if you did, what would she do in return? Tear your ears off or merely clip you round the left one thus. <laughs> you are an idle, feckless, incompetent, irresponsible load of layabouts. Shall I go on? Am I right so far? There, you both heard what he didn't say. He agrees with me. <laughs> and yet, if I suddenly said there'd be a £50 bonus for each one of you if that roof was on by 6 o'clock this evening, would you scamper up those walls like Batman and Robin? Good heavens! I can leave you. <laughs> there you are, Arthur. That's the way you used to do it. I did learn it all from you. No, send her straight in, please. <laughs> you are a doctor. I have dignity, I have trust, authority. Yeah? <laughs> you come in, Mrs. Walker. Don't say a word. A word? Any word? Which word? Have I said it already? I don't, repeat, don't want to know the sex of my baby. Last week I did, now I don't. All right, now you can speak. But, but I don't. Not now, in case... Well, the wrong word slips out, or the right word, which would be even more wrong. <laughs> Just tell me he's all right. Who? Baby. He's fine. Oh, it's a boy. Uh, <laughs> you won't catch an old hand like me out, Mrs. Walker. It's not a boy. It's definitely not a boy. Then it's a girl. <laughs> well, that's a fairly bold assumption, you know. Well, if it isn't a boy... Yes, yes, it's probably a girl, but there are variations on a theme, Mrs. Walker. <laughs> Nice ones, I hope. Very. Triplets, twins. Stop, pop. is it? <laughs> uh, are they? Very clever, Mrs. Walker. Well, you are very clever. Um, but if you'll just give me ten seconds to think of a non answer, um, um, which I've thought of, um, I'm not saying. I'm sorry, I'm a doctor. Dignity, trust, authority. Yes, sir. Look, um, just tell me it isn't twins. They are not twins. They? <laughs> I was correcting your grammar. If they were twins, and I'm not saying it, he, she, or they are, then you would call them they, not it. Yes, well, could we leave it there? Them there. The subject. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Walker, it is still Mrs. Walker, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Are you sure you don't want to know? My very first words. Ah, yes, but the emotional subtext, the laths beneath the plaster, you say don't when you mean do, no when you mean yes. Perhaps you'd just like me to slip the gender into the conversation like a hot brick. Yes, by which I mean no. <laughs> Just as I thought, you're unsure. Do not tell me the sex of my baby. You're hurting my arm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mrs. Walker, 
how can I put this without sounding feeble? <laughs> Help me. I know the sex of your baby. I have got another six months of being able to blurt it out. But I thought you were leaving soon when Dr. Riley gets back. No, no, it's a great compliment, really. They've asked me to stay on. Well, I asked them in the first place if I could. I mean, they, they don't just go to the front door and bellow, junior partner needed for local practice. No, no, <laughs> those days are over. Well, I'm sure it's because they're terribly impressed with you. Well, they didn't say, but if you do. You have a way with people. I didn't know that. Uh, you take the fear out of medicine. Visits to the doctor become an absolute joy for me. Really? I thought I was formidable. <laughs> Try to be. Fail. No one in their right mind would be afraid of you, Dr. Valentine. <laughs> Mrs. Walker, one day soon, I am going to have to ask you something about clothes. Along the lines of, well... Taking them off? <laughs> yes. No, well... <clears throat> Well, more, um, parting them in the middle, <laughs> parallel to the ground, so that, well, look, assume I were you. <clears throat> well, no, I won't here, but, um, <laughs> the area we're talking about is sort of here to, um, to, well, it's here, actually. <laughs> um, that's what we're after. On you. My hands are warm. <laughs> I've been thinking. What with? Sorry, Jimmy. I still thought I didn't like you. What for? Practice? Sorry. Sorry. I have to try harder. Here, hold that. My mother. Against the wall. Last night. What? Doesn't she unpack fish and chips to perfection? And don't you eat, eat up most of them when she does? Why, well, big. Yes. And if you count like that, I'll always be small. Last night, she revealed something about herself that I didn't know. She's a man's woman. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that, Jimmy. And I'm on your side now. Great. The point is, which side is that, and am I on it too? Well, it's your baby. You want to marry her. Do I? Straight question. I've forgotten. Can we talk somewhere else? My vocal cords are bending. I should go counter tenor in a tick. <laughs> Come through. See, this is what I call love. Kitchen. Nice big kitchen, she said. I said no, small one. A fight about a kitchen is love? Most women walk two miles a day in a kitchen. Love is an architect saving a woman a two-mile hike. Over very rough ground. All right, then. Love is an architect sparing himself a two-mile hike. Watch. Turn. Fridge. Reach. Freezer. Turn. Chopping board. Reach. Knives. Step. Hob, reach, pans. Step, eye level, oven, reach, low level, grill. Turn, plates, bend, dishwasher. <laughs> you do know that none of it's there, don't you? <laughs> My God, it's been nicked. In that woman, not too deep down, there's a creature who would melt if you just go straight for it. Her throat? You nearly got it the other day. Take it or leave it, that's the deal. Great. But then you walked away. You should have stayed. General Custer stayed. I see. That weak, pathetic creature, my mother, frightens you. Yes. Except when you're doing overtime. Not nice. She frightened you into bed. Many times. <laughs> Once or twice. What a coward you must be. I mean, just think of it. Woman of considerable je ne sais quoi. <laughs> je sais quoi? Too bloody well, mate. <laughs> she beats you to a pulp, strips you of your dignity, throws you over a shoulder and slings you on the waterbed. <laughs> I kept telling her there was someone else in the room. Oh. <laughs> How you must have suffered. Did the waterbed boil? Jimmy, I thought you were part of the Puritan backlash. Great women in history have always been frightened of men. Right. And who wrote most history? Men. <laughs> so you're not interested in my plan? I've learned a new word, greaser. Who? Roger Dean. Of Dean, Dean, Dean and Dean. Solicitors and commissioners for oaths. And what's his beef? Wouldn't say. Have you got any dirt on him? Hmm. You all right? Why does everyone want me to be ill? Well, it's the standard question for pregnant women. 
How are you? I'm fine. What's the sex? They're all different. <laughs> oh, dear, she'll have to go. She told me there was someone in here. <coughs> oh, there it is. She can stay. Mrs. Walker, my name is Roger Dean. I can't even begin to tell you what a great pleasure. It is to meet me, I can imagine. <laughs> do lounge, as in lizard. <laughs> I do so adore witty women. And I love witty men. Uh, help yourself to a drink, it'll steady your nerves. <laughs> and does that faint smell of Vic mean that you've got a cold? <laughs> but I'm not infectious, Mrs. Walker. You most certainly are not. <laughs> I see. Scotch in the middle of the afternoon. The Winchenden Estate, Mrs. Walker. I'm one of its trustees. 85 will not do. It was valued at 100,000. By Hartshorn times two, not by Dean times four. I have to tell you that we've had another offer. Oh, super. Goodbye, Roger. Ah. Ah. <laughs> the greatest all-round prefix in the world. Heralding what? Our hell? Our bestow? Our mouth? Why have you grown so big? <laughs> that was a better offer. I just said it was... Worse? Um, which little dean are you? Roger. I know that. But in the descending order of deans, where do you come? Dean, dean, dean. The last. Or dean. <laughs> I see. Well, um, let me widen your horizon, dean of the last. <laughs> you have been sent round here by the other three, just on the off chance, to attempt to squeeze more money out of me. You being so young and a tribute to liquid engineering... <laughs> ...do not know how partial I am to solicitors. Done in a weak batter and flombe just before so. <laughs> Goodbye. Until we eat again. <laughs> they did say I could use discretion. And you have, dear. But they have not. Ready. So, so. Oh, yes or no? Both? Oh, look, we're not going to shoot the place to bits. You're not going anywhere near it. She's got a solicitor in there. Suing me for breach of promise. Or herself, even. She's that scrambled. She'll be through in a tick. He looked to me like a three-minute job. Jimmy, you heard what the lady said? She's got an egg in there. Let's go. No! <laughs> so, your father is Alfred Dean of Dean, Dean, Dean and Dean. You know, the more I say it, the more that it sounds like a reggae band. He is. <laughs> yes, well, um, tell him two things from me. One... I am a poor, helpless widow with my back against the wall trying to run a small family business. Two, even though it is four acres, ask him to roll up the Ascot field and position it in a convenient place about his person. <laughs> Perhaps we'd better make it 85, then. It's a number I first thought of. Well, have you anything for me to sign, like your Bobber job card? <laughs> right, slowly move, you sit down. <laughs> I was just trying to find my pen. Well, don't try. Sit! <laughs> Peter? Yes? Um, over by the desk. How near, exactly? Uh, right up close. Uh, may I introduce my son and my lover? How <clears throat> <laughs> very nice to meet you both. Roger Dean. Hard the Dean Banks, Mum. Sit down, Roger. <laughs> Peter's come to lay them on you. He means say them. Go. Right. <laughs> How did it start? Listen. I am. No, that's how it started. <coughs> Listen, Helen. Mrs. Walker in the office. Listen, Mrs. Walker. I can't. You don't want any crap about love. Right, right. I don't want any... <laughs> ...about about love. Uh, I, I want... I think it was action. Yes, uh, and the whole... Argument. ...rethought. I won't repeat that. <laughs> that done to the point where... Who was it? You. Where, where you... I think he means you, actually. Ah. You see, he does it, too. To the point where I call the tune. Can one ask what the hell you're both talking about? <laughs> yes. What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> it was his idea. You know what it's like. Marriage. I hope you'll both be very happy. <laughs> you? Him. Why? Well, we never really got that far. Love is an architect saving a woman a two-mile hike. Or more. Did you know that? 
I'll collect my cards on the way out. <laughs> that must be one of the most moving proposals I've ever had. <laughs> Wait downstairs in the car. Any particular seat? Does this happen to you a lot? <laughs> Men walking in here in pairs, proposing? <laughs> Helen, Mrs. Walker. OK, Mrs. Helen Walker, on your feet. How dare you speak to me like that? Oh, I see. That one's your lover, and this one over here is your son. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm not sure even now. But there is evidence to go on. Have you found your pen? What a remarkable woman you are. To kiss and do business at the same time. <laughs> Love is a small kitchen. I want a big one. Uh, no, small. The bend, reach, and turn. <laughs> reach. Are you in training for something? A wedding. Out! <laughs> Flea in your ear? Why look at me when you say that? He was present too. Trouble in this firm starts with you always has done. And he's the governor's son. Yeah? When I rule the world, Jane, which one day I most surely will, the death penalty will be restored for five minutes. If I am dead, who will ask you why you're wearing lip gloss? Mrs. Walker's lip gloss? You're right. You're indispensable. Your father phoned. Wanted to know why you hadn't phoned your mother. Come along, Jimmy, before I ask you to thump her. Friends now, then, are we? I told you to do wait in the car. Sorry. Oh, he doesn't mean sorry. That's right. I'm very sorry. He means <laughs> ask him nicely. Please wait in the car or I'll fire you. <laughs> that sounded fairly reasonable to me, may I? No! <laughs> um, uh, that is a picture of courage being plucked up. I shall count to five, and if you are not out of this office... Mrs. Walker, Helen, pop it. Pop it? <laughs> it's been brought to my attention that you're a man's woman. Absolute rubbish. One. And that underneath that armour plate, there is a soft and vulnerable creature who... Who hit a huge lout round the left ear this morning. Two. Really? I'm sure you did it very tenderly, no doubt. Three. Please don't fire me. Give me one good reason. Four. Uh, well... Uh... He'll pin you to the wall. I'll pin you to the wall. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> I mean... I appreciate the help. I love you. Love or love? No, 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 no. That's in front of other people. Four and a half. All right, Jane, get the diary. Registry office. Three weeks today. Be there. I wonder if you'd mind waiting downstairs in the car. That's a good idea. <laughs> Will you drop me off at Barnacoat's factory? You mean my factory? Your factory? Hmm. Your baby, my factory. Our factory. Our baby. Which will be my room? Do I have a room? <laughs> that one next to the bathroom. I'll decide. Just this once, you happen to be right. <laughs> one next to the bathroom. It's easy, isn't it, this agreeing lark? By the way, did you say yes or no? Yes. And the, uh, the date's all right with you? Yes. Gosh. Two yeses in a row. <laughs> what the hell is that? That, my boy, is a vandal-proof factory. You were superb. All man. It was your idea. Yeah, but you put it into action. No, nope. I insist that you take the credit. So, let's have a row about who was superb. <coughs> I wonder where Arthur is. Vandal proof. Beauty proof. Sanity proof. Arthur! Arthur! You! Damn it, I've forgotten her name. Mum? Mum! Mrs. Walker! Helen! <laughs> No, not please. This is an order. Helen! Mrs. Helen, get down! It's Arthur. He's up here and he shouldn't be. Eardrum. It's balance up the spout. Well, he's lived his life. I'm perfectly all right. Look, we'll make a deal. Your factory, your baby, have it all. Only come down and bring baby with you. Uh, we're inseparable. I do not want to marry an urn. Will you please stop shouting at me? If I do, when I... If you ever... 
I'll kill you, I swear it. I've never seen an adult have a tantrum before. <laughs> if you didn't want to marry me, why didn't you say? Be a man, say it. I won't force it, you're free. I'd rather hate you alive than... She's gone. Jimmy, she's gone. Where's she gone? She's in the clouds, Pop. <laughs> You've been waiting all day to say that, haven't you? Well, go on, say it again while I'm in a good mood. That's our mother up there. <laughs> you're up there. Only a few words spoken in hysteria, Uncle. Oh, she'll be all right. She's been climbing walls for years. Ah, what are you doing? Supervising. No, you're not. You're cringing in a corner. Should you be up here? Well, that's a matter of some debate, but you definitely should not. What would Millie say to me if you dropped through a skylight? Thanks for pushing him. <laughs> you fancy a cut in the insurance money. <laughs> Nonsense. Do not let me find you this high up again. Is that understood? I'm getting married. If I could move, I'd do a jig. You can't move. Then stay there. What about the cribbage league? I'm front runner for the Russell Arms. Don't mean forever, just till I get the fire brigade. I know all of them. They laugh at me. With me in charge, the first one that laughs will learn the true meaning of towering inferno. <laughs> you, you over there, who was in gold? Oh, I don't love her. Never did. I won't even if she's alive. seems to have changed. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm quite pleased to see you alive as well. Oh, Jimmy, call the fire brigade, will you? What kind of love is this? <laughs> well, there's a hat on the roof called Arthur. Dear Arthur, please knock down this wall. <laughs> Dear Arthur, don't knock. Dear Arthur, I hope you can read. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I brought dinner. Oh. Don't tell me, let me guess. <clears throat> Indian, Chinese, fish and chips. You see, you're not as clever as you think you are. It's chicken and chips. Oh, cold chicken and chips. Don't worry. When that kitchen's all done and dusty, you can buy me a lovely microwave oven and we shall have hot chicken and chips. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going to buy you a cookery book as an engagement present, like a real fiancé. Yes, well, you can stop that kind of talk right now. What? Don't you want your photo in country life? Helen, only mother of James, is to be married, before it shows, <laughs> to Peter, John... What's your middle name? Angela. <coughs> so what's funny about that? <laughs> Nothing, I suppose. Just that I got used to you as a Helen. More hell than angel, my father used to say. I think I'd have liked your dad. What about yours? Oh, I like him too. <laughs> Going grey by the second. Mother? No, she's in pretty good nick. But 
What are they like? She's a bit like you, really. <laughs> Poor old dad. <laughs> I'm frightened that they won't approve of me. Oh, but they will. You've got so much in common, like uh, the Everly brothers. <laughs> Sorry, buses. The last war. <laughs> I wouldn't approve. I mean, suppose Jimmy came home with me on his arm and said he was going to marry me. What would I do? Well, legally, you'd have to refuse and then ask yourself why you went wrong. Somebody like me, who remembers the last war, just. Well, in my new capacity as his dad, I'd be against it. Look, why are we dancing? Because <laughs> you keep edging away towards that kitchen. Look, I just come, came here to feed you and I thought, well, since I am here, I'd like to have... Oh, please let go of me. No! I like two separate taps, you know, not a mixer. Did I ever mention that? Well, we've talked about many things, but not about taps. Save it for a cold winter's night, 20 years from now, when we're trying to put the romance back into our lives. You're not changing your mind, are you? What about? Jimmy? Taps? Kitchen? Anything. What have you really come up here for? Oh, to tell you about Arthur. Uh, they got him down all right, the fire brigade. They were late, of course. And you yelled at them? How could I? Jimmy did tell them he was a cat, so they let, left him till last. By <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> way of an apology, they let him ride home in the cab. You should have seen his face. As a grown man for you. Marrying me. Who is? You. Uh, that's what I've come about. I'm, I'm worried about you marrying me. Right. Well, when the registrar asks me, I'll say no thank you. The kitchen is through there, isn't it? What a memory. Look, if I put 20p in your mouth, will your arm rise up? <laughs> Why won't you let me see it? You really want to know? This place, rejigged, is all I've got to give you. Don't spoil it for me. You're right. Guess what I've got to give you? Well, it's either a wing or a leg. And chips. Gatch. <laughs>